If you haven't used a drywall saw before, a little hand saw, a couple things to look for. Number one, a very sharp tip. This one's definitely got that. You also want uh, these small teeth. You don't want to be making big old cuts on your drywall. You want to find cut. The other thing you're looking for is always kind of minimal flexibility. You don't want a really floppy knife. The floppier ones, really cheap ones, you get at the hardware store, you will go to push on your drywall and the thing will just bend. So anyway, these Irwin knives are nice. This is about the fifth one I've had. They do get dull over time. Six months to a year of drywall work, you're gonna replace your knife. Anyway, let me just show you how it works. This is just a scrap, but ideally you would have your box mark, say if you were cutting out an electrical box or around a piece of trim work or something like that. And with this guy, you just put a little bit of weight on it and work it through. And once you're through, just takes very fine cuts. I think some people think they need a power saw for this. And, you know, if you are doing on a job like big numbers for cuts, I think some people will prefer to have a power tool and, you know, rotary tool. But I find I get the best cuts with a hand saw. You don't want to cut it too hard. You just want to go gentle with it. Anyway, Irwin makes great tools, you know, clamps and just all kinds of hand tools for the workshop. It's got a good grip on it. And like I said, nice and stiff and very sharp at the tip. Those are two things you really want.